Hello everybody, this is KFG27 and welcome back to another episode of Quake Marker Wii Tutorials. Today we're going to take a look at how we make a KCL, which is a collision file for Mario Kart Wii using Wii's SLS tools and it works a lot better than the method I explained in my tutorial series which is using C tools. What we're going to do is we want to install Wii's SLS tools. You can download that in the description below. You want to install it and hit send to install the bat and then restart your PC. So now we can start up our command prompt. Um, we can go and change directory to desktop. There we go. If you don't really know how command prompt works, you can Google this uh, because Wings SS tools are command prompt only. But now we're in the desktop. What we can do is we can hit, uh, we can make sure that Wings SS tools actually working by typing WSZST and load up Wings SS tools. Does it not work? just like uh, what happened on my computer. I found this out recently. Uh, you can go and search for control panel and then you can search for environment variables and click edit the system environment variables. This is something that you probably shouldn't really mess with if you don't know what you're doing. Go select the path here in the bottom system variables, click path, click edit, then click new. So it creates a new entry in the list. Um, but right now, I've already got this one. Now, if you add new, you want to insert the place where you installed your Weems SLS tools. For example, I have it here. Um, you want to go to the bin folder, you want to click here, and it gives me the exact file path. You want to click the new button, you want to paste the file path in here, and then we're going to hit OK, 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 close this. And now it does work. So we're going to go to our track, SketchUp track. Uh, we might want to save all of this, let's save this as a different copy, for example, track KCL. Now the best thing to do, we're going to go into our materials tab and see what materials we have. The simplest way is to literally rename every material you have. So this one can be road one, and this one can be road two, and this one can be um, uh, off road, and the other one can be out of bounds and whatever. So, but that's not really the most, um, the best way to do this because um, you're going to have multiple um, you're going to have multiple KCL types for the same thing because I don't want a different specific type of road. I want both of these textures to be the same thing. So what you can do is you can actually go into something like let's see or is it colors named and you can take a color for example I don't know this grayish thing we can go make a new one and call this one road um, road KCL or something because I actually renamed the ones here. Oh no, they aren't. Aren't they? No, I'm just going to call this one simple road. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit right click, select this one, right click, select this one, and fill it up with the road texture. Which doesn't matter because this is just the KCL. Remember, I saved this as a different uh, file. This is not uh, what you're going to be seeing in game. So now I've retextured the road. I can delete the original textures. There we go. Um, this one's actually also part of the road, so I'm actually just gonna um, deselect. Oh crap, how does that work? I haven't been using SketchUp for a while. That doesn't work. You hit. Um, can I deselect? How do I deselect? I'm just gonna zoom out, click here, deselect. <laughs> it's been a while since I used SketchUp. We're gonna select this area, which is the start line. We're gonna once again fill up. There we go. So now everything that's road. Um, is now the road texture. Now you can also uh, duplicate, uh, you can make different types. So say we have a road that's actually a wooden road, so we want it to be a different than the generic road. We can take a different texture, call this um, road wood, and select all of our parts of the road that are wood, and we can replace that. So say we can make this specific section road wood, if we want to. For example, now this one is grass, and honestly, it doesn't actually matter right now. Um, but if we, since we only have one of a specific type, it doesn't actually matter. So this is just going to be the collision for grass, um, and this one's going to be out of bounds. All right, so there we go. Now we have our collision file. Um, we're going to hit the OG exporter. You can find it in the description. Um, you can go into Windows, uh, what is it, Extension Manager, and install extension, install the extension I have, OG exporter. And let's save this on the desktop. Let's not convert all texture files to PNG, because we don't care about that right now. So now we've got all kinds of stuff over here. Um, here's our KCL OBJ file. Now, um, 
we can now hit Weems KCL tools, create flag file, and then enter the track underscore KCL uh, OBJ. So now it's created a flag file right here, a dot flag. You can look in it and it has all these things. Uh, now, if you want to know more about how to create KCLs of Weems tools, you can go into the link in the description which gives you the page creating a KCL of Weems tools. You can read all of this, um, but I'm going to give you a simple explanation. What you want to do is you want to pretty much edit all of these lines. So here, as you can see, we have all of those materials that we gave in. We have grass, we have out of bounds, we have road, and we have road wood. Um, so what I want to do is I like to just kind of start recording a macro and just uh, doing this. You want to keep the section that says A and everything after that. And you want to go delete that all the way to the equals. And then I hit down, hit end. Did I click actually? I don't know if I did. Whoops. Uh, I didn't. I don't usually uh, do it this way. But yeah, so we're going to use the keyboard and do all of this. Hit down, end. And then we hit macro stop. You can do this manually. Sometimes I have a whole load of things, so I just use a macro to quickly uh, get rid of this. For example, now I can just go hit Control Shift P P P P, and it's all fixed. But you can do that. You can also do it manually. So now we have all of these, uh, what we call it, like materials, and we have the A and then the brackets here. Now we want to open up the page KCL flag, which is also going to be in the description. This is all the information about all the collision file uh, stuff in the game. You want to look under the section basic effects uh, for type A and A like variants. So uh, for example, we want road, we want road here. So we click on this, you can see it says road zero x zero zero. Now that's what this little section is zero x zero zero. So for road, we want zero x zero zero. If we want to have it be a different road, because right now it's basic effect, basic effect zero, normal. This is a normal road. We want to make it wood. We have a section of wood right here. We see that is number four. So in here, we change the last number to four. So yeah, that's uh, that's how you do these special types of KCL. Because every type of thing, for example, if we go down to wall, which is zero uh, x zero c, that the wall has all kinds of things: normal rock, metal, wood. Uh, it kind of changes the sound effects when you hit it and when you drive on the road and stuff like that. There's all kinds of other stuff like tr making things trickable. We're not going to go over that right now. So. Now we want to have an off-road, which is 0x03, and we want a grass off-road. Uh, if we take a look at this, it says um, the graphics can be different colors on different track slots, but for now we don't we don't care about that. Just make sure it's grass. So this is off-road 3 with uh, basic effect 4. So we go here, we see uh, grass, we make it off-road, and we make it 4. If I remember correctly, yes. And now we have the out of bounds. So we go up here, we check where's out of bounds. Um, where's out of bounds? Eh, I don't know. <laughs> I um, where is it? Where is it? It's actually called solid fall. It's more like a. It's it's called solid fall for some reason. That's why I couldn't find it for a second. Uh, pretty much, it's a fall boundary activator, but on a solid ground, which is exactly what we need. It's out of bounds, so it's a, and we want grass, which is five. So it's a five. We go to out of bounds. We say a, and we type five. Now we can save this flag file. The first next thing you're going to do is you're probably going to want two lower walls. Uh, go to the back to creating the KCL with Weems tools, click scripts, um, lower walls, and click on this little button that says script lower walls. You can select everything that's inside of here and hit copy. Now what you want to do is let's go back to the desktop. I thought that was possible here. Uh, there we go. We we'll go back to the desktop. We go back to Weems SS tools. Uh, we go back to bin and we create, we right click, new text document and we call this text document let's see well you can call it really anything but I call it lower dash walls the txt and you paste that stuff in there and then you save it never mind what I said about the lower walls txt in the bin folder you actually want to have that file in the same place that you're doing your obj file so then we go back to our command prompt in our desktop we go and type weems kcl tools encode and then the track name or the obj name so it's track underscore kcl dot obj then dash o for overwrite 
if if the file already exists because I, I messed up before but that, that it's already there <laughs> this is just so you can use the same uh, d don't worry about it just type slash uh, dash o and then we have dash dash kcl dash script and then lower dash walls of txt make sure you have no f uh, spaces in any of the file names enter and there it is it's encoded the uh, the kcl right here and you can use that in your tracks um, that's all there is to it. It's, it works a lot better than using uh, Weems uh, or using the KCL editor of C tools. Weems tools do a, do a lot better job and allows you for a lot more customization um, in which types of things you want to do, uh, unlike the SLS modifier method. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, thanks you for watching and I will see you guys in the next video.